Good afternoon, I'm Karen Larson. Here are your trending stories in green country. A class action lawsuit has been filed in the wake of the massive Capital One data breach. The company says the breach affects more than 100 million consumers and small businesses who apply for a Capital One credit card from 2005 through 2019. A hacker exposed customer information and credit card application data, including social security and bank account numbers. The breach was discovered by an external security researcher earlier this month. Plans are moving forward to redevelop the site of the old Laura Dester shelter. A local company is in negotiations to buy and redevelop the site into a multi-use facility. The plans include affordable housing, restaurants, and additional office and retail space. A new study suggests vitamin A could reduce the risk of a common skin cancer. Researchers at Brown University track more than 120,000 adults for over 26 years, and those with a higher intake of vitamin A through diet and supplements were less less likely to develop squamous cell carcinoma. Vitamin A seemed to be most protective among people with moles and those who had bad sunburns as a child. There will be a chance for a few hit or miss showers, maybe a rumble or two of thunder as we go through the evening hours. But uh, overall, though, the more uh, better, at least should say the better chances for rainstorms would arrive early Friday morning with scattered showers and storms to start our day. And that chance rain would continue on into the afternoon with more storms likely by early Saturday morning. Our data are really high on the potential for some significant rains over the next couple of days between two to four, maybe some locally higher amounts of rainfall and some of the heavier thunderstorms. So flash flooding could be a real threat by the uh, end of Saturday. So we'll be watching that very closely. So rain chance is quite high the next couple of days, diminishing early next week and then actually increasing once again by the end of next week as we see wet weather prevail the next uh, overall the next seven ten days and temperatures will be cooler as a result of that chance for rain in the area and then as we head towards the end of next week more clouds will help keep temperatures down so we'll be tracking rain across northeast oklahoma saturday 60 percent chance for showers and storms 90s for return monday tuesday and wednesday before more rain thunderstorms move in thursday into friday We'll keep up with the day's news on our app and website and look for live coverage during our regular newscast tonight at 5 and 6. We'll bring you another update right here around 630.